Hey, what's good, people? Welcome to another episode of Worship Wednesday. And today, I've got Subi in the building Hi. together with uh, Ian. And we've got some stories to tell. All right, let's go. And life will go in the place of thorns and breeze. Oh, this is where I take a stand and use the eyes of faith. This is where I comfort my heart. I comfort my heart. Oh, this is where I your joy is my strength peaceful waiting is never in vain you are enough you are enough for me you are enough tell us a little bit about it where did that song come from there's a season of my life which was a little bit difficult and I had gone to my parents to ask for, for help or for advice or whatever. And then the answer which I got from them is maybe not what I was expecting. It was a bit more rough, <laughs> more tough what, what, than I had what, calculated what, for. What, what was going on in your life at that time? What was going on was hmm, I had this boyfriend uh -huh. and he wasn't at home and I really missed him. Come on. And I was like, what's... Ugh. So I had this whole plan of how um, <laughs> maybe, because he was studying, I was like, mm. maybe I could go and do um, my master's where he is, mm -hmm. right? In that moment, <laughs> I thought this is such a smart sense, right? idea, <laughs> you know? But it oh, was really gosh. dumb, actually. So I went to my parents and it was, it was that and a lot of other stuff about like work and what I want to do with my life and what I want to master in and what quarter life crisis. <laughs> so <A> quarter life crisis. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I went to them and they were, I think it's because I presented myself like a hard man. So they also took me like a hard man and gave me, you know, the facts. But the facts with, from my perspective, the facts with zero empathy. I went to my sister and I was crying my eyes out because I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do now. Now I'm done with school. Now I don't know, am I going to work? Where am I going to work? What am I going to do? Now I miss this guy. Now blah, blah, blah. Everything was a lot. So my sister first calmed me down. She's really sweet. Um, and then she has this poetry book mm -hmm. that she... She writes, she, she does a lot of stuff, but one of her stuff is she writes poetry. She did something which she hasn't done before, really. She tore out two pages from the book. Um, she gave me that, that poem and she asked me to write a song mm -hmm. from it. So I was like, okay, maybe she just wants to keep me busy. <laughs> but mm -hmm. then I read through the poem and I kept it in my Bible and I kept on putting it off. Mm -hmm. Until one time I was like, oh, I was given an assignment. Let me do it, you know? So I sat down and I was like, Holy Spirit, give me the melody, show me how this is supposed to go. Yeah. And in that moment, he answered, because when we pray, God answers. What was so powerful is the way the song is, mm -hmm. is the way the poem flows. Yeah. And I just, it's, it's interesting to see how God moves. She wrote the poem, going through her own stuff, and God had a plan for it. So you guys have been doing Worship <laughs> Wednesday for a while now. How long? Since uh, my last year uni, so maybe a year now. About a year, a year and a, now. a few months, and right? Some months. How, right? Did, how did you start? What inspired you to start doing that? <laughs> That's how, funny. How did you decide <laughs> we're going to open a YouTube channel <laughs> and we're going to create a segment called Worship Wednesday? The YouTube channel opened a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So I was doing covers on YouTube for a while. And then when I went to school, um, it became more of a struggle. <laughs> To do them because I was like, now I'm in school, now I'm just struggling, now mm -hmm. now I must <laughs> record also. <laughs> so it became a whole thing. So then um, in my third year of uni, my last year, my last year was, it was not easy, it was the ghetto. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> in the middle of that ghetto, again, mm. the Holy Spirit put, put it in my spirit. Mm. And he said, you know, just, just do, mm -hmm. do. And I was like, 
but then but school but 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 I'm doing so much but and I kept on putting it off mm. again but he would keep reminding me because he's faithful yeah and he doesn't change his mind so if he has said do something you know do yeah end, how do you find yourself in this mix how Where do were I you? find myself <laughs> I was at home mm-hmm. watching worship Wednesday by Sovi mm-hmm. uh, so those days she was at school where she was and uh I mean she used to do it alone in her room. So as a, as a, as a faithful fan, I would <laughs> go and watch. <laughs> and I see and she plays the guitar and uh sometimes I'd be like cutting you know, out that chord you had cringe. <laughs> you I think <laughs> major. <laughs> yeah, I was like if you could just do this you instead of me. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to be better. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. yeah, I give feedback where I'm about to sometimes I'll be like ah she's she's good she's good but yeah. as I just like to worship Wednesday. Yeah. So when she came back from school she continued doing what she was doing playing mm-hmm. the guitar. Uh but then she would play I think it was the key of D and there's a way the key of D and the key of G share some chords. Mm-hmm. So she would do some songs in the key of G and some songs in the key of D but but the same chords. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And uh I was like how would so we sound if she sang in another key. If this song was sung in another key, all those things were running in my mind. Yeah. I didn't tell her. Mm. Mm. And then I don't know. I don't know if she invited me. It was a coincidence. I was like, "Oh yeah, I've been wanting to do this." Yeah. Let's I go. remember. I even remember <laughs> yeah. the chat. You remember the chat? Yeah. I remember so the, chat. the chat. Was the text thing. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Cuz I think she invited me to mm-hmm. to play the guitar at her home and I was like, "Yo, I was just not telling you that <laughs> but I want to do this. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. So yeah, so I went to her home and and we d- that's how I found myself doing worship Wednesday. After mm. that day I was like, "Oh, we're not turning back. We should, <laughs> yeah. should yeah, let's yeah. let's keep yeah. doing that's this." That's amazing. Yeah. Maintaining with consistency what you've been doing mm. is not straightforward. It's pretty mm. hard. Yeah. How are you managing to continue doing it? Yeah, and is the voice in my ears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, cuz no. we we have set times for recording. Yeah. And so if you have it recorded, then why aren't you putting it up? Mm-hmm. So that key, that key is to get it recorded. Wow. Cuz once once it's recorded, it's mm-hmm. like, ma'am, we have some unfinished business. Yeah. yeah so when so <laughs> recently actually there was a time when it had become praise Thursday because <laughs> we were always late <laughs> to go up. <laughs> 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 it will go up on Thursday. So yeah. <laughs> I think incredible. it's just setting aside time for it and making sure that if this is something important also remembering the origins that God told you to do this. It's mm-hmm. not it's not my own thing. Yeah. So if I don't do it right, I'm letting God down. That's incredible. It's the fight for obedience, isn't it? Yes. You're trying to stay obedient. Yeah. To God's invitation in spite of when it becomes challenging. That's amazing. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. When my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your is running after it's running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me when my life laid down I'm surrender now I give you everything cause your goodness is running after it's running after me that's just what I've seen as a change is I'm now more aware of God's faithfulness yeah. of his intentionality Incredible. of the fact that he doesn't do things just haphazardly mm-hmm. he he thinks about his things and he's mm. thought about them from the beginning of time mm. and this what we get to do is a part of the picture I've learned to be more ready yeah and to commit because yeah I am one of those those fans who are like why why isn't worship Wednesday up in fact when she put it on Thursday I'm like 
my dad. It's today Wednesday. In my yeah, ears. So she's in your ears. Always in my ears. <laughs> so so what's wrong? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm, Why isn't I'm it? A big fan. <laughs> we all need we all need an Ian <laughs> in your ear telling us what to do. Like, well, I'm glad that we're here together yeah. today on another worship Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. And we'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> when is it supposed to go up? So we tell Ian. <laughs> then Ian will make sure that it's Next up, on, it's up time. on time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. So Ian, look into that camera and tell the people on YouTube what to do. Hey guys, if you've not yet subscribed, subscribe now to Mixed by Neil and Sobi Namoviro. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Worship Wednesday. Let's go. Have you subscribed? Subscribe now. Come on now. Tell them what to do. Subscribe now.